Greetings one and all and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just going to do a straightforward explanation video of a mod I use, which is the Slope Station mod. I'll be showing you some of the features and how to get the best out of it, and also one or two of the things I've found I can do with it, which I don't think it was originally designed for. So stick around and let's see what we've got. With any station placement, it's always wise to select the correct station first of all, whether you want passenger or cargo. I can't count the number of times I've placed the wrong station down, face palmed myself, and then rinse and repeated. So today I'm just going to start with a cargo station. And I'll select create station. As you can see, I have other mods installed which allow me to extend the number of tracks and the length. Of the station so a slope station mode works with all of those I'm going to set the station to be 400 meters I'm going to align it so I can get it to where roughly I think it will be okay I want as flat a land as possible to initially started with and that looks pretty decent very little bite in or climb either side so we'll pop them there and we'll start making some adjustments. The easiest way to see how this mod works is to place the station first of all, and once placed, use the upgrade option and make the alterations. However, all of these can be altered before a station is placed. It's just, this is for me, the easiest way to demonstrate the features. So the mod is called the sloped station mod simply because you can slope a station. As I go through the increments here, eventually I'll get a terrain collision. There it is. So that's the maximum slope we can put highest on the left hand side, lowest on the right. With the platform facing this way and the road connection facing the camera, this is how I denote left from right on a station. If we use negative slope, the opposite happens, and you can see the right side comes up. And the left side goes down. Now I'll just level that off now, and then from doing that, I'll try and quickly explain how the altitude adjustment works. Set at 0 0.5, we can embed the station deeper and deeper into the ground by using those increments, and we can also do the opposite and raise the station up by going that way. As we bring the altitude adjustment up a notch and go down again, you can see the station is going much deeper into the ground on both sides. And again, for the opposite side, we can build the station up to quite a height. Handy for when you've got dips in the ground and you need the station to be a little higher or on the alternative when you've got a little bit of high ground and you just want to embed the station in a little bit to make it level for when your track gets started going to two times starts to get a little extreme as you can see when we start going down now the station bites in really deeply and there is a slight issue because we've gone so deep now that the mod can't up with the terrain and of course the same happens going up over but you get a little bit more leeway because you're climbing rather than digging but again you still get terrain alignment conditions that cause a problem so two times is probably the most severe you can use it on right that's basically how the slope station mod works of course you can increase your tracks and all of the system works on those as well the station mod itself doesn't mind how many tracks however your pc might object if you have something with 40 plus tracks and you're trying to embed that in that can take up a lot of land space and bring quite a few pcs if they're not top range to their knees so we'll just stick with the one and we'll go to zero 
I mentioned at the beginning of the video there were a couple of ideas I'd had for ways in which the mod probably wasn't designed to be used, but uh, for me they're ideal, especially the way I build real networks. And the first one is just setting to one times and dropping it minus seven five, and then just starting a gentle adjustment until I get it. There we go. So we'll come back off one, and I'll actually apply this just to show you the results. So we've sunk the track in, and at this side, it's not too bad. This side, we've got a much deeper hole, and you can see, I think, where I'm probably aiming for, because I'm now buried quite deep. If I start laying traps... Just with a few slight adjustments. It's easier to get a tunnel with just a couple of drops. And if we can check the tunnel itself, it is fairly level right the way across, rather than the usual tunnels which go right down and then have to come back up again. Just one option this mod can provide for anybody wanting to dig easier tunnels for me i find it very very straightforward to use on the other side of the equation there if we place another station down just about here we can see what happens when you use the rears feature to help you go across tracks go across roads and make it easier to bridge so again we'll do a cargo station we'll select that and this time we'll place it down here it doesn't really matter about the height or length this is just for demonstration purposes we'll close that one open that one and upgrade and with the slope modifier Yeah, I think 50 should do it on that side. I'll apply that. And this time just taking a little bit of truck and leading it from there. We have the desired result, providing I take shift off. So it's instantly bridging, but going down, we can get that up a little bit until it says it's level sorry about that there we go and of course set it to ultra fast bridge and although the train station is sloping down the track coming into it is pretty level there to be able to use for whatever purposes that may coming over a town coming over roads other real areas multiple uses great mod so thanks very much for watching and as always if you've enjoyed this please like share and subscribe and i'll see you all next time thanks for watching bye now